Number 32. An electronic device designed to operate at any temperature in the range from negative 10 degrees Celsius to 55 degrees Celsius contains pure carbon resistors. By what factor does their resistance increase over this range? All right. So uh, first question is, um, well, but what do they mean by factor? Right. What do they mean by factor? So um, just pretend you had two values, right? I, you know, it doesn't really matter what it means. Pretend it's money in your bank or something and pretend that, you know, at some point in time you had $100. At some point in time you have, I don't know, $50, okay? And I wanted to, if you started with this, right, and you went to uh, 100, uh, the question is by how much did it increase by? By what factor, I should say, excuse me. Well, it increased by 50, but what factor did it increase by? It increased by a factor of two, right? You might have said 100%, that would be right too, but in terms of the answer uh, being a factor, it wouldn't necessarily be a percentage. It, we have to figure out how many times this increased, basically, to get to the final value. So, in other words, we can just simply take the value at some point in time, divided by the initial, and then we get our factor, okay? So, that's the idea. Now, carbon, okay? Um, it says, by what factor does their resistance increase uh, over this range, right? So we can do this in a couple of ways. Um, knowing that we're dealing with carbon, okay, if we look at its coefficient, its temperature coefficient, right, the alpha value, notice how it's negative. So what does that imply? Well, that implies that if we look at where alpha is in the formula down here on the right-hand side, right, resistance at some you know, final temperature at some temperature two will equal, you know, the uh, resistance at some other temperature, we can call it the initial or uh, at some point in time one, plus then, uh, excuse me, times one plus alpha times the change in temperature. So we realize that basically alpha is multiplied by the change in temperature. So if the change in temperature, let's say carbon, uh, you know, remember change in temperature is always final minus initial. All right, final minus initial. So if we imagine uh, the final temperature, let's say, uh, is, you know, I don't know, 10 degrees Celsius, the initial was five. In other words, right, the increase in temperature was five degrees Celsius, okay. Um, what then would have, this would have worked out to be a positive answer, right? A positive answer then multiplied by a negative alpha would have given us a negative result overall for this component. So in other words, it would have been one minus it would have been one minus some number. So notice how this will then be less than one. And if this is less than one, when we take that value multiplied by the initial resistance, that means the final resistance is going to be less than the initial resistance. Okay? So in other words, what I'm trying to say is that when we increase the temperature for carbon, the resistance will go down. Okay, usually it works opposite to that, but that's because the alpha here value is going to be negative. So if the, temp if the resistance were to increase over that range, we must be dealing with a situation in where the temperature for carbon is not going up, but rather it's going down. Okay, uh, so <clears throat> hopefully that kind of makes sense. Now what I can do from here, okay, is I can then understand the fact that my temperature change then value here from negative 10 to 55, what's the final temperature then? Remember, if, it, if they're talking about resistance increase, the only way to do that for carbon, as I just explained, is, um, well, I might have just explained it, but you know, it doesn't mean it makes sense. Um, uh, the only way for that to happen is for the temperature change to be a negative temperature change. In other words, the initial must be larger than the final. Okay, that's the only way mathematically this would work out. So if the initial is larger than the final, that means that the initial temperature here, we could consider it to be 55 degrees Celsius, and the final temperature then could be negative 10 degrees Celsius. Okay, they also don't tell us the you know final resistance. They also don't tell us the initial resistance. But here's the thing. Just like I was mentioning before now, let's connect the pieces. Um, I don't know why that reminded me of the song, Pick Up the Pieces. Great song, by the way. Great song. I think I played that in jazz band many years ago. Anyway, um, pick up the pieces. Uh, obviously, I, obviously, I didn't sing. So um, <clears throat> I just 
I just hit things, that's all. I'm a drummer. Um, anyway, so we'll start with, I don't know why I erased that, but let's start with this equation, okay? So we'll have the final and the initial, okay? Now, remember, I need to find the final relative to the initial. Remember, just like my example, the $100 over the 50, right? So I got to divide out my initial resistance here. And if I do so, watch, this is then the variable of interest right here, this fraction, right? That tells me how many times it would have gone up. So this is then one plus then alpha multiplied by the, uh, again, final minus the initial. What is then the... Um, values that we know. Well, we know the final here, one plus alpha. We also know alpha, right? It's negative 0.5 times 10 to the minus three. We also know the final temperature here. We said is going to be negative 10 minus then the positive 55. And let's just calculate it now. Okay. <clears throat> and basically we're going to find our answer. So we take negative 10 minus 55 hopefully my oh, negative 10 minus 55. Okay. Then multiply it by a negative 0.5 times 10 to the minus three, and then add one to it. And we get a value of 1.0325. And ladies and gentlemen, there it is, right? That's the factor, All right? So you could round this oh, three sig figs, I suppose, right? Because uh, that's the temperature range here. So if you had to round it, you know, 1.03. Okay. Voila. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Please remember to help us out and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Take care.